cold, extremely cold. Negative seven air temperature. I'm not sure what the wind chill is. We're putting on the heavy gear tonight. Got our hunter safety system on. Finish layering. It's very important to layer when you're hunting in these conditions and you're gonna try and sit for three, four, five hours, you have to layer. Your body can literally shut down on you. I'm hoping the camera will hold out. I'm not sure how that battery is gonna do in this cold of conditions, but we'll give it all we got. Another, another quick tip for you guys. If you're hunting late season and you're gonna be layering and wearing multiple layers to stay warm, heavy layers. A good tip is to shoot your bow, get all your gear on, go out in your yard and practice shooting to make sure that when that moment of truth comes, even with all this on, you can still draw your bow and make that shot when it counts. Very important. Let's do it guys, bow hunter die, we'll see in the tree. All right guys. About 12 o'clock. January 7th, 2014. We're back out in Northwest Illinois, sitting over our Heartland Wildlife Institute turnip plot. The deer have absolutely tore it up. It looks like a bomb went off in the middle of the food plot. It is absolutely freezing cold. Just the touch, the release is unbelievable. The actual temperature is minus 11 without the wind chill. I've got my neck gaiter and I've also got a big face cover just to try to protect the skin as much as possible. Last thing you want to do is get hypothermia sitting out here late season trying to seal the deal. So either way we're pumped man. Late season, we got less than two weeks left in the Illinois archery season. I know they're gonna come in here tonight to this plot. The wind is perfect, southwest wind. Yesterday was 50 below with the wind chill. There's no reason for these deer not to be in here tonight tearing up these turnips, so here we go. We're nestled in, now it's just a waiting game. Bow hunter die, fourth and long, and I'm going for it. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good hunt. This is by far <clears throat> the coldest conditions I've ever hunted in. My phone says it's 35 below with the wind chill. I can't believe it. It looks like a really good buck too. Yes. 
flying so low, late season, hunting over my Heartland Wildlife Institute turnip plot. I knew the deer were gonna pile in here. Last light, here they come down the hill, single file. Last but not least, I had probably eight or nine deer out in the plot, some does, and a couple of small bucks. I knew a big one was gonna show, and would you know it, here he come, right in on a string, 32 yard shot. Unbelievable. And I think he's done right there in the ditch. We're gonna give him some time, we're gonna get down and sneak out of here. And that's it, what a hunt. Oh my God. Yes, bow hunter die, guys. Oh, man. All right, guys, here he is. He ran out of the food plot and uh, made it down into one of the steepest ditches he could get in before wiping out. And uh, went over and got help from one of the gentleman that lives out here on the property brought the tractor over to help me get him out and reached down in the ditch and grabbed him by his horns to uh, pull him up out and into the field so we could start doing a little video and wouldn't you know it first the left then the right there he is first time that's ever happened to me but uh, if you want to come in close here you kind of see how these just pop loose it came right out of the sockets with just a little bit of pressure. I didn't make the greatest shot on this buck. Uh, I, don't, I don't have to make up any excuses on it. He, uh, he took a step as I released and I hit him far back. Luckily enough for me, I was fortunate enough to catch that femoral artery. He didn't make it uh, 80 yards from where he was shot. But this is the first for me, I'm, I'm still in on. It's got a big head on him. I've, I've never, I've heard of it, I've seen it in videos, I've never had it happen to me, but there you go. I mean, proof's in the pudding. It popped right off, so. That's gonna put a wrap on my 2013 Illinois archery season. I was fortunate enough to harvest uh, a buck November 8th, and now this guy tonight, I'm super pumped. Bow hunter die, guys. Late season edition, coming to a close. This is it for Dickie Tunes. We'll see y'all in the tree next spring next fall. <laughs>